Okay, everybody, so here is our lesson from Monday night, and i um, going to go through a couple of things, but before I go through that, I do want to say that everybody's stroke is starting to come along and looking better. I'm going to show you little things things that are that are getting better. But first, we're going to focus on finet your backhand. One thing, I do like the stroke once you start swinging, but it's, it's first of all, your footwork getting back. You're not really keeping your feet moving. You want to get in the habit of thinking like how a boxer, the uh, best example I can think of is Muhammad Ali, would dance around the ring. You want to be dancing in between shots. It's going to help you get to the next shot easier. Trust me, it makes a big difference. So, Finay, work on your footwork. Now, if we're looking at Val here, that swing right there is really nice. You see how, Val, you're starting to really define your top spin on that shot. That one you had trouble getting out to, but I think you still made a nice shot. The biggest thing to work on is still you are still opening too much at the end. Um, except for that last one, you stayed closed there but didn't get your top spin on it. All right, here we go, Jalitha. Love how you got that racket back real quick. So your preparation starting to get a lot better now. In between, I like how you're kind of bobbing up and down, but we can have a little more footwork. And the biggest thing for you is to continue to work on hitting the ball out in front and getting the top spin on the ball. Okay, because your preparation looks really good, but we we're, we still can work on getting more of the feel of the brush and hitting out in front. Once you get those two things going, uh, it's going to be a lot better. Tim, it's too bad your forehand really isn't um, on this video as much because you kind of go out of the screen because the forehand has improved like way over 100% in the last three weeks. What we really got to start focusing on is is the backhand because you can see that wasn't a bad backhand. That was actually one of the better ones. You lifted up too soon, but you can see how that hip kind of swivels around real quick and doesn't go out to the target as much as it needs to. That's still a major thing we've got to improve on. You see how you're, you're swinging around there? Um, might be worth it if you get a break in your schedule or something to to do some privates with that. All right, so we're back to Finay and her backhand. And again, the swing looks great, but the preparation's taking too long. But the swing, it, it's beautiful stroke. Like, look at that. That time you caught everything on time. The footwork, you're shuffling back, but you're just staying there. So that's the major work for you. We'll watch one more round, and I think that'll be good enough to Nice Good forehand, Tim. Tim. I, I think I'll be enough to show you guys. So Val, it's still still the opening. Yes, but don't, don't so the strokes back. are getting better, but the flaws the that okay. we're trying to correct Good, are still kind of there in general in and your strokes. Val, it looks like on this round you're not getting any tossman on the ball. I think I just told you that. Let's see. Look at how you made a difference there. I told you about the toss, and then you really rolled that ball. That looked a lot better. All right, y'all. We'll keep on coming out, keep improving. Uh, good job. Okay, so before we go today, I want to also show you uh, what I mean by moving like a box or kind of like a, you want like a bouncing type hovering feeling as you're playing. And you can see Lee Nye here the whole time until she hits. Now watch how still she gets when she hits and how much time she takes till she's done. She really finishes it out. And then as soon as that's over, you're going to see before the video ends, she's going to get ready to get right back on her toes right there. Okay. And the next video we're going to get ready to watch is uh, Roger Federer and Andy Murray. Now, watch once the point starts how they both are in constant motion until they're hitting the shot. They're, they're always got a little bounce in their step. Look at Federer on this point. Getting there, bouncing. There's the bounce. Hit. He's going to bounce a little bit. There's the winner. Didn't do anything about that. Here's the next point. Federer is getting here. He's running up to the net. Now, watch after this overhead. Even though it's a clean winner, he's still getting ready to move right in there. This is a great point by both of them to where, watch Murray more on this point. He's got that nice rhythm too with his feet. He hits, as soon as that hit's gone, he's on his toes, on his toes. That's gonna help you get into a rhythm. I know it looks tiring, but remember, you've got the time in between points to rest. You can do a Rafa Nadal, Novak Djokovic, uh, long, extra long rest to get ready for the next point. But that is very important. To do so, I just want to end with that and keep coming out, keep improving. We'll see you next time.